Yeah, so I'm back and I have cash to set aside for holiday releases again. But have I changed my mind about any of them? Because as we know, Jordan Brand released all of their releases coming out for this holiday. I know, I know. I haven't done a video to talk about any of them. I'll give you my thoughts on a few and maybe what direction I think I'm going to head in for the holiday season. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish it. Everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ Two Swoosh Chains and it is it's beanie season absolutely the fact that temps are not going over 70 a lot where I am beanie season has arrived but it's also still his hoodie season ladies so hashtag seize the fleece if you ever actually acquire the guy's hoodie okay no joke tag me in a story or something with hashtag season fleece i promise you i will certainly reshare that because i think it will be hilarious i'm sure the guy won't but i'm not concerned about his feelings so thank you for tuning into this video if you're brand new go ahead if you like to see hit the subscribe button uh the like button always helps and two search crew you, you gotta know like i don't have to say anything you should certainly be commenting below all right, so holiday season, you know, it, it can be considered broke season uh, because so much goes on around the holidays. Let's take the pandemic out of it, honestly, and you always have, you know, there are still people's birthdays and things that can occur during that time, anniversaries, uh, the holidays, and the holidays is just a string of them, right? It just goes straight through Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. It's a lot. You're probably traveling, connecting with friends and family. People are still going to do that. Understand this. The fact that life is proven to be shorter than ever, you're going to have people that connect with their family members in the most safe way possible. So that's still going to be going on. Not to mention parents, if you got kids, you're over here trying to plan for that. Christmas, listen, I feel bad for y'all. Y'all have homeschooled these kids for most of the year. And now you got to dish out tons of money um, beyond just the basic necessities to keep them alive. I Listen, it's it's rough. It's rough for parents. I don't know that feeling, but I know it's rough for y'all. I feel bad for y'all. And then you're trying to treat yourself, right? You want to treat yourself. You want items too. Nothing wrong with that. Please don't ever make any let anyone make you feel bad for wanting stuff for yourself. Nothing wrong with that. So for myself, I just like to plan ahead. Now, I've had to look at even my own habits. Like, do you should you be spending X, Y, and Z? No, absolutely, I should not a lot of times. do I don't need anything, all right? With the amount of sweatshirts and shoes, and pants, and joggers, and cargos, and all that that I already have, I don't need anything more. I'm doing a little bit here and there to try to filter out some of my closet. I don't really know how it's going, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm probably like overhyping the fact that I think I've made progress. I don't know, but uh, I've gotten, you know, let's just say this. September was real chill on the shoes, right? I mean, I was blessed to have be gifted those dunks. Um, I was real chill on the shoes, but clothing, not so much. And I haven't done the Fear of God haul that I have. I really need to do that because when I say I went on a tear to complete the collection of Nike and Fear of God that came out for like spring, summer of 2019, I am not joking in any way it's it's bad it's pretty bad but so that being the case i know that i'll probably be more chill during the holidays than ever before but i'm allowed to be more chill maybe save a little bit more and still not suffer right because what have i been doing since like june maybe july i've been putting aside 75 dollars a month because i know i wanted three pairs right i wanted the air jordan 13 hyper royals that's set to come out for the holidays and that's on this list I wanted the Air Jordan 1 Top 3 2.0. Now, I didn't necessarily see that on this list. I'm going to be honest with you. There are four Jordan 1s coming out that they wanted to highlight on this holiday list. I didn't see that, so that sucker better still be coming out. I'm just being real honest with you. And then I want, I'm holding out for the Air Max 90 Infrared, and I have yet to see a thing about it. So part of me thinks maybe it's not coming out. I don't know. And if you know more than I know, please comment below. But part of me feels like it's not coming out, which is really heartbreaking. So there are four Jordan 1s at least. Let's just kind of go through some of this list because will I change my mind? As of right now, I might. I might instead just scrap the hope of the Air Max 90 Infrared and go after one of the very first uh, Air Jordan 1 retros that's coming out. 
And that is the metallic silver, the uh, Japan, the Midnight Navy, right? So we've already seen the silver come out. I didn't go for that one, but this Midnight Navy looks amazing. Now, I will say this also, there's an Air Max 97 that's in the Midnight Navy in the silver colorway. I'm really open to getting that too, but again, we're talking about Jordan holiday releases. So I love this Jordan 1. It looks amazing. I know the tongue is different. Uh, because right, it has like the the S or kind of like the SB vibe to it instead. So I really, really like that with the wings logo, the way the tongue is stitched on. Big, big fan. Now I know there's a women's Air Jordan one coming out. It's like in a lucky green color. No, nah, I just just no. Nah. Like I feel bad saying that, but I'm I'm good on the whole lucky green thing. I already have the uh pine green 2.0s. I'm fine there. I know they're coming out with this black and, was it, the black and gold, the metallic joint. Don't want that either. Uh, I'm good there. Just just save that. I'm just, I'm okay. I'm good. I know it's got like satin and stuff on it too, but no, I'm cool. <laughs> and then you have the, what is it, the mocha that's going to come out. Now, I think that comes out right around my birthday because uh, my birthday is November 21st. I think it was set to come out right around my birthday. But I know they could have moved the date around and no, I'm, I'm still good. I know people are going to be like, how dare you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm just being honest with you. Um, the Air Jordan 3 that's coming out, a lot of you are going to change that to a Laker 3, like in a way Laker 3. By all means, you do you, boo. Uh, it, it looks more like a Raptors 3 right now as it stands. So it's black, predominantly black. And then it has the cement print, of course, and then, you know, purple and orange. Some of y'all are definitely going to hit up some customizers to make a Laker 3. And that's fine. If y'all win the final, if you win the finals, hey, you you deserve it. The 4. <laughs> all right, so you all thought you were getting like a true fire red 4, didn't you? I think it's funny because people are like, keep that same energy when the holidays come. You said you didn't want it. I was being honest. No, I didn't want the fire red 4. I didn't. The military blue 4, 2021, that there is a must. I'm absolutely getting that. But outside of, I didn't want the fire red, like the fire red uh, four. Like I didn't. I'm, I'm sorry that people were mad about that, but you're mad now because it's not even like a true fire red color. It's like an infrared four that you all are getting. Uh, it'll be full family sizing and a lot of you are still going to buy it, even though you're not happy with it because y'all do things to yourself for self-sacrifice and I don't understand why. Um, I don't. Now, the Air Jordan 5, what the? I get that it celebrates, like, iconic fives. I get it. Tokyo, Raging Bull, what is it? Green Bean, Army Olive, Quad 54. Listen, a whole lot. Nope, I'm still good. Uh, I'm just fine. Like, I, I just, I would go after other fives. I adore fives now, but I would go after other fives. I'm not spending money on that one. The Jordan's Women 8. Here's the thing. That 8 looks amazing. But it is so close to the Bugs Bunny 8, which I got like last year or year and a half ago. I'm good. I'm just going to stick with the Bugs Bunny 8. Um, I think I haven't posted a picture. I, should, I think I did post a picture when I first got them and did a video on it. But I finally have that. Now, the Air Jordan 4 that's based on, I believe, like Japanese culture, um, you know, with... It, I don't want to get this wrong. I want to make sure I say this right. Shishiko, I believe, and I know Kyrie has quite a few of his releases coming out that have that Japanese like craft work and design. It looks awesome, but my thing is how wearable is it beyond just like the holiday winter season? I don't know how much it is. So for that reason alone, I'm good. Both 12s coming out. One and two. It's a no. One and two for the 12s coming out. Right, it's the red and black, which no, and then it's the black and purple. I just don't see a need to have it. I don't. Uh, the Hyper Royal 13s, absolutely. You guys already know that was one of the ones that's been on my list for a while. So I can't wait to get that in my collection. Uh, absolutely. So that's kind of just the rundown. Most of them are a no for me. I'm sure a lot of you will go after them. Um, I'm not someone that cares about the flip or the resale because I play for keeps, quite honestly. I buy the shoes to keep the shoes and wear them. If at any point I get rid of shoes, it's because they just don't fit anymore or I find that out after I get the shoe. Like, little do you know, I actually had to send back the Air or the Nike, um, the Court Royal or Royal Court, the AC slip-ons with the little mini swooshes. I had to send those back. So I tried to wear just the all-white pair for a shift at the store and the crazy part is, even though it only goes in a tiny bit more than what the van does, 
it's enough where it's uncomfortable and the shoe isn't going to get any more comfortable. I can guarantee you that. So I actually had to go ahead and return that. It happens, but I actually, instead, since I had to return that, I picked up a shirt from the Dirt label, which is based in Detroit. So I'll showcase that as soon as I get it into you guys. So uh, please sound off in the comment section. What holiday releases do you plan on going after for Jordan brand? Are there any, or maybe are you just going to go after something else? Maybe you spent enough during the year and you're like, I'm good. I can chill out and relax the rest of the year and just simply focus on other stuff. Maybe focus on experiences. Maybe just save my money, stack my cash. Let me know. As always, act your age and your shoe size. Peace out.